Hello everybody and welcome back to Nervous Review. Today we are going to be reviewing changes in the Dresden Files series. I'm going to begin with a spoiler free section for about 3 minutes, then continue to a spoiler filled section which I will announce both on screen and verbally. So you can click off if you haven't seen it at that point, but let's get started with the review. Changes is the most famous book in the Dresden Files series other than of course like the first couple. So the reason that's the case is because this is what people describe as the apex moment within the Dresden Files series. And I'm very, very glad that I read it. And I'm very glad that people were so were talking about it so much because it did hype it up. And I think it hyped it up in a good way. So this did not exceed any expectations, none whatsoever. But I think that the reason that that didn't happen was because I had didn't really have too many expectations to begin with. I heard that this was the best book. This is the highest rated book on Goodreads of the series. And naturally, it is the best book in the series, not by a long shot, but without a doubt, there's no question. And I think the reason is because uh, going through the Dresden Files series, I really, I, I, just, I find it very difficult to review it book by book. I do like to think about the author and the style and the way that the book is written and the way that like the series is going and what, the, what are the flaws with the series. And I think that you come back to that here more than ever because you really can't separate this from the previous books. This is like the 12th book in the series and it really, really doesn't show. It, it, it feels like, it feels like I've been reading Dresden Files without knowing what's going on previously. Even though nothing real has been like revealed within this book, there's not much about the previous books that's been like changed or completely recontextualized. Not much really. And so when I look at this book, all I see is that there's a lot of greatness within the series that I didn't realize existed until now. Very often Dresden Files, and I think the author himself, Jim Butcher, is really limited by the plot of the story and the style of the story. I think that limits him more than anything else because it took a long time for me to realize he's a really good author. Like this is a great written book. It, it's so, so much fun to read. He's such a great, like he, he captures your attention properly, chapter by chapter, everything progresses. It's, it's a, he's a very strong writer. And I didn't realize that until he got like a really good plot because in every other book, I think the problem has been the plot. I think the problem has always been the plot has been boring or it's been repetitive or it's not that interesting or the characters are not, th are not that interesting or like it didn't resolve properly. There's so much about the stories that don't work properly, but the story itself here is really good. You get a story that actually is a story. Finally, we get like a novel that is a novel and not just a, well, one of those Dresden Files novels. This is a novel and that is that is probably the greatest praise that I can give to this. If you're like me and um, you, you read this entire series just to get to this point, basically, like basically I know, I, I was just trying to get to this. If you're like me uh, and you're thinking of getting into the series, uh, this is not worth it. This is not worth the entire series because once you get to this point, you've already read like 11 books and uh, it really does not re recontextualize the book in any meaningful way other than like, I wish I'd read them more carefully. I just cannot do that. You cannot get to that point without reading this. And then if I read this and I went back, I'm sure, I, I have no doubt I would enjoy every single book more just because I realized, oh, the writing is good. The story is just bad. And that's a really meaningful thing for me. However, if you're one of the fans that's already begun this series and they're looking forward to getting to this, I, I just have to say once again, like, there's no question, this is the best Dresden Files book. Temper your expectations because this is not so much like the unbelievable, it changes everything, it's mind boggling because people say it that way and I, I just don't think that's the case. I think what this is, is a properly written book by a great author and a story that actually works. And I think that's what this is. And so all in all, I'm going to have to rate this book at three or four stars. I think for now I've got it rated four stars because like at this point, I really like Dresden. I really like him. I think he's a really great character. I think the characters that we've got already are really strong. I think all the characters and, and the plot points that come into play within the stories are really well done. It, it's as if you're reading a novel that is well written, but you already know what like the story in the world is about and you already know the characters. That's what it feels like. And so this is really rewarding in a way that very few books actually are. And now onto the spoiler section. Okay, so Harry's daughter, I, I, I really, I did not see that one coming. That is a huge surprise. And I, I really, it took me a while to like figure out, oh, this, is, this isn't a joke. Because I, listen, I got spoiled. I won't lie, I got spoiled um, while reading the Wikipedia because it always mentions like, oh, new characters, Harry's child. And I, I always assumed it would be, maybe it's dumb. I always assumed it would be my Molly. I was like, oh, Molly, okay, that makes sense, right? Okay. I guess that's what that is, just logically. But then it took me a long time before I'm like, no, this is legit. This is legit. And I think that it, 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 it okay, it's really out of the blue. It, it, as if you were to say, hey, does that make sense? I would be like, no, that's a dumb thing. If you put that in your book, you're dumb. But I read this and like, it's really, it's not dwelled on that much. It's not like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. This is a crazy thing that happened. It's like, oh, oh no, this is real. Oh no, we have to deal with this now. 
and it's very classic Dresdeny where he gets into the plot and it's really really a strong way of like setting everything off because you don't need to justify much you don't really need to be like oh Dresden is doing this because a, a, a father figure which is which is obviously ju it is justified within this book you know that a lot of this has to do with his own parents and I think that doesn't really it's not really necessary and so what it does is it adds more quality onto the reason for the things that he's doing the reasons he does what he does are, are clear from the start right like you don't even need any explanation but then you get these explanations it really adds a level of nuance to the story that wasn't previously there I really, I, I did enjoy the uh, the Endgame style ending to this. I really enjoyed like literally everybody coming together. Um, but there are there are certain parts of the story that I was not a fan of in the way that I'm not a fan of like most Dresden Files books. So like one thing, uh, everybody comes together, but I didn't even like, fe it didn't feel like everyone was there. It felt like, oh, everybody's here, by the way, just just trust me. And then like, we'll focus on a couple people and then we'll just we'll just swap them in here and like in and out until it, until it really only feels like there's like four or five people at any one time. There's like, but there's like a million, right? There's like 30 people or I don't know, maybe like 10 people, but it only feels like there's three or four because there's only three or four that are consistent, consistently used at any one period of time. Um, and I, I feel like he does this for the sake of doing it and nothing wrong with that. It doesn't take away from the story as much as it like, it, it, it makes it feel like it could have been a little bit better than it was, right? These are all things that I think might've pushed it up to a five star if it was that good. Also, there were a lot of subplots within the story that really did confuse me. Like we had like the one vampire king, I'm not sure exactly who or, or exactly what, but like they didn't keep their promise or something. And I'm like, okay, I wasn't really following that too closely. What, what, what was going on? All of it on a single thing that was like explained probably at some point in the past that I didn't really pay too much attention to and I just read it, I was like, oh, okay, whatever. And then I, it, it turned out to be like an important piece of information. And that's really frustrating for me because that happens a lot in Dresden Files books where a small piece of information ends up being the entire plot point and I'm like, where did that come from? Like, wait, what's going on? And it really confuses me because if you're not reading the story carefully, carefully, like really carefully, you are gonna get super confused. I'm sure if I read this book again, I would find so much more out of it and I would find that it's a much better book than I think it is. So I think that right now it might be a three actually, but maybe it ends up as a four if I reread this book and I figured out like where, oh, where, why did they do this? Why did they go to the Never Never? Because I, I don't really have any real understanding of like why that, why he went to the Never Never. Right? That, that's not entirely clear to me at this point. And it's things like that that, uh, I, I would say it's me, right? I would say, oh, I should be reading closer. Like, that's what I used to say in the earlier book, especially in Full Moon. Like, that is one thing that really annoyed me. It's like, am I, am I reading like this wrong? Do I need to be paying more attention? But every book, every single book has been like that. And this book has been like that. My favorite book in the series has been like that. And so I have to stop and be like, that's probably not me because I don't have this problem with any other story. No other story do I have this problem with. And it works out in every other story, except for like Dresden Fountain books, where I'm super confused as to how they got here, what they're doing and why they're doing it. But broader scale, it, it does make sense. It all makes sense. All the re character relationships make sense. There's not really much growth other than the, the common growth that you have in like every single Dresden book where it's like, Dresden, you're hurting so much. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like the same thing. Dresden, we're friends. And that's what friends do. Like classic Dresden, right? And it, it does that again, but it just does that to a pretty good quality once again like the character arcs while are extremely common and overused they're done well right and so I, I can't really say that that's a bad thing because every book does it and every book it's still fun like it's still fun to come back and see Karen be like oh my god Dresden we're friends don't tell me to do that like it's always fun to do that but it's done quite well in this story on the other hand the ending plot was with all this complicated like pyramid stuff and this and this blood magic it, it was it was very confusing but it, it is one of those plots that I don't really care too much about the setup. Like it's not really that important to figure out why things happen, right? It's just more important to like have things, like what things happen. And, and that is far more interesting. And I think that that was delivered, right? In a way that is often missed. It's sometimes missed within the story, but to me it was like, okay, the ending, right? I didn't need too much, I didn't need too much from it. I, it was just like, okay, I get, I get it. I get what's going on and it worked out. And I think that we have a lot of really great high stakes stuff that goes on in the story, especially the, the death of Susan. I think that was really, really strong. It was very earth shattering. And I really love it when stories do that. I love it when stories kill off a really main character or a really vital character, especially at a point when they're really, really vital. And I think that it just adds a dimension of, of beauty to the story that wasn't previously there. And that's important enough that it's meaningful. And not just that, but we have so many great life altering decisions that are all in changes, right? This is like the only book that doesn't have a pun as a name, right? This isn't a pun. This is just like blunt, it's like, it's changes. And I think that most of the changes were great. I, the only the only problem that I have with them is that there are so few changes in the other books that it kind of makes me feel like Dresden Files is as a series, not as interesting as I thought it was. Uh, like the writing is clearly good, but there's just not many changes. It's like, oh, you saved all of them for this? Okay, well, this is the best book now and all most of the other books are garbage, right? Like that, that's just kind of what you did because you had all these things planned. All of these things are gonna continue. And you're really like, 
let's just put them all in one book. That's kind of dumb, right? You, you don't want to space them out a little bit because we have a couple of changes here and there, uh, namely like Thomas is like being being his brother and his mother, and we have a couple things here and there, but he becomes the knight of like, I think winter in this book. And it's like, why? We, of course, like that's a great plot point. Why now? Right? He could have just as easily probably been in the next book or in the previous book and finding out that Ebenezer was his grandfather. That is another really, really big thing to drop. And there's no good reason why it was dropped here other than just to add things to the story when it, it could have just as easily been added in the previous book. Maybe I would have regretted it. Maybe if that had actually happened, I would say, oh, he should have put them all in one book. But from my perspective, when I read this book, I just think this is a great book. This is the best book in Dresden Falls, easily. I feel like you could have made every other book from like kind of bad to good. That would have been like a much better use of all these secrets, I think. Other than that, I think I've reviewed this book enough time for you to know my general other other points about the story and the series. Um, and so I don't really need to explain too much other than spoilers, you know, the spoilers were fun. Everything I mentioned in this spoiler was fun and it was great. And uh, the story was great. And like the way the action worked out and the, and the losses and the changes in the entire plot point, they were great. Like those were all fun, especially when he died at the end. That was fun. Like that was really, really great. And I, I really enjoyed that kind of stuff. So what is there to say about changes other than it's the best book in the series? And I would rate it three to four stars. Let's say three stars now that I have my wits about me. We'll say three stars for this book. It is a very strong entry in the Dresden Files series, and I hope to see more of it in the future. As I'm reading the next book, I believe it's Ghost Stories. I'm seeing a bit of that already, so uh, thumbs up for that. I'm reading Dresden at an astonishing pace, so if you want to see more Dresden Files reviews, uh, subscribe. If you want to follow me on Goodreads and see exactly what I'm reading, you can look at the link in the description. You can like this video and leave a comment what you thought of this book, and uh, yeah, I'm very curious to hear if you guys have the same opinion, because every time I review this book, I review the Dresden Files series as a whole, and I, I really am curious to see how like other people interpret that. So let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.